What's good, y'all? We back. First, let me apologize. We've been gone for a couple days, but your boy got a knee injury and I had to get that stem cell treatment. You feel me? I got that today, but I'm already back. So let's do it. Yo, 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 room service. It's your boy, Jay Smooth. Showtime sticks. How y'all doing today out there, YouTube? Today, we're going to go ahead and talk about the San Francisco 49ers. Uh, team captains today yes, came sir. out. So we have Fred Warner, Nick Bosa, Eric Armstead. Who else was on there? Said Nick Bosa, Fred Warner, Eric, Eric Armstead, Armstead, George Kittle. George Kittle. Yeah. So I just... one more? Like there's one more, Jimmy Ward. Jimmy Ward. Jimmy yeah, Ward. So we have what two offensive players? Oh, you do about heart. You feel me? Yeah, 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 yeah. Right, no, right, no, right. We getting there. We getting there. <laughs> but uh, so we have two offensive players. The rest were defensive. Um, no Trey, no Debo. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, I mean, let's let's talk about that real quick. So what what do you think? I mean, no Trey initially is is that a good thing? Bad thing? Do you think there's smoke there? You I think? don't think there's smoke there. Okay, now we, he might be one of the only quarterbacks in the league that is not a captain. Mm -hmm. But then again, he's probably one of the only quarterbacks in the league that hasn't proven himself yet. And I'm mm -hmm. sure that he understands that. I mean, he said in his press conference today, he's not really tripping like that. But of course, it's a goal of his. But what I've been seeing from Trey this whole time is him getting on social media. You know, backing up all of his guys. Mm. Every time anybody has a birthday, a party, a celebration, getting signed, whatever you have. Right. Talk about he's that been posting it. He gives them 100% mm -hmm. shout outs. He just gives them love all the time. And that's those are traits of a leader. So mm. he just goes out here, worry about football, like I said before. Mm -hmm. And next year, we'll probably be seeing Trey on there as a captain. <laughs> I mean, that's all he's waiting. He knows that. Go right. out here, ball this year. Captain. Right. Simple as that. Yeah, nah. I'm gonna go ahead and say, um, I, I think it's, uh, I think just the team. I don't think uh, they need Trey to be that leader yet. I don't no. think they need him to be that captain. Um, you have, you know, all the guys on defense. They've kind of been here the longest, um, and that's where this team starts, right? Is the defense. So I believe uh, having most of your captains as defensive players. I mean, that just makes a statement to the team where this all begins at. For real, for real. Um, on defense. I for mean, real. Jimmy Ward, you know, he's been holding that back end down for some, you know, a few years now, staying healthy. Uh, you got Eric Armstead, who's been just, I mean, a lot of people didn't agree with that big contract he signed, but I think he's worth every dollar. Um, you might not see it in the numbers, but the things he does on tape, his technique, you know, filling in gaps, um, just doing all the little dirty work, you know, he's, he's very valuable. So glad to see him as a captain again. Um, thing with Eric Armstead. I mean, what he does for the team, you know, he's one of our glue guys. Yeah. And absolutely. everybody respects him on the team. So it doesn't even, of course, the numbers matter because that's how you get your respect, you know, because mm -hmm. how you perform on the field. But right, right. he's performed well enough to where that whole entire organization trusts in him. Absolutely. So if he speaks, ain't nobody on that team as young as we got about to say something to Eric Armstead. Like no. He would be tripping. No. So, yeah. I think it's a good choice. Yeah. Great guy in the community, too. You know, he does a lot of things out here in Sacramento. So. You know, why not have him as your captain? Right. Uh, Fred Warner, uh, all pro linebacker. I mean, nothing needs to be said there. Young leader, um, right. passionate guy every time he steps on the field. So, you know, I'm a big Fred Warner fan. Big like Fred it. Warner fan. I like Fred Warner a lot. Big Fred mm -hmm. Warner fan. Big time. But um, a lot of people probably didn't know that he, he played soccer first. Mm. Nimble feet. He was like four years old. Slow playing feet. Soccer. He didn't actually start playing football until he was seven. Slow feet don't eat. Right, no, but makes you saw sense. that you saw that intensity though. Even him in high school, mm -hmm. though, even looking at that tape, right? Even his little documentary they had, you know, they they showed a lot of that stuff. But he started young, but he came from a good family, right? You know, and he was the oldest, so he had to make things happen. And San Marcos, California, too. You know, what I'm saying hey, out so, there in the Bay Area. Shout hey, out to San Marcos. So I'm I'm a big fan of Fred. You know, his his determination, <clears throat> his will, everything that he brings to the table. Mm -hmm. You know, like his tackling. You got him on your fantasy team. For that alone, right? Absolutely. Exactly. Because he's giving you a point every single tackle. Every tackle, so, I'm getting yeah, my, my, my point. Pro Warner, mm -hmm. that's who he is. And uh, he's going to stay that way. So 
Yeah, I, I love Fred Warner, man. Ever, you know, ever since I've been a Niners fan, uh, my whole life, the one position I've always kind of just been enticed to was that middle linebacker position. You know, you think of Jeff Ulbrich um, and the boys back in the day, and then you had Navarro Bowman, Patrick Willis tandem. Uh, we had Chris Borland for a minute. You know, he was a stud before he decided to retire early. Yeah. Um, and now we have Fred Warner. Um, so, you know, we, we have a great history of linebackers. Um, Fred Warner, you know, love him to death, love his, you know, how he can go sideline to sideline. Um, you know, he's rangy, he's tall, you know, he's just overall just that prototypical linebacker that you want, you know, putting, you know, you figure the weight, 240 mm -hmm. pounds is that typical middle linebacker weight, um, but can still run a four, 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 five, you know, he's, he's that dude. Yeah. He's that really dude. Is. For and sure. The defenses should be scared. Speaking of that, <clears throat> my bad, offense should be scared, but, um, mm -hmm. Justin Fields though. Did you see his little, his little press conference? Yeah. It seemed like it was a little backpedal, a little, you know, compared to what was said. He was kind of like nonchalant about it. Like, mm -hmm. you know, I'm actually glad that they passed on me because I'm happy to be where I am. It's the right answer. Right. He would have been, I ain't going to lie. The cap, politically right? correct way to say. To come out here and just start talking mess. Knowing, <laughs> knowing he's on record saying he ain't ready. So, right. Yeah. I ain't worried about Nah, that. Justin I Fields, know. I mean, I think... The right thing to say is to say, hey, my left tackle may not win every rep. We know that. Yeah, it's Nick Bosa. Um, but that's yeah. going to be the problem. If he doesn't win even, you know, half those reps. He's not going to win. What? Half? He's not even going to win a quarter. I, mean, I don't see him really winning too many. Unless Nick Bosa fall on his own, it's going to have to be a self-inflicted reason why mm -hmm. Nick Bosa doesn't win. Yeah, no. So I think he knows he's going to be in trouble. Um, but maybe Chicago game plans for that. Maybe they do some bootlegs to the opposite side. Uh, maybe some chip blocking, you know, try and knock him off balance a little bit. But um, we got so many hitters. That's right the there. thing. He's when you have. Ball, man, don't you get Nick Bosa? That's cool. We just got done talking about Fred Warner. He's coming. Aziz Alshair is coming. Dre Greenlaw's coming. You know what I'm saying? Like all these people are coming. And everybody I mean, else on that D-line. If they try to go way to the outside, then, you know, them corners out there, mm -hmm. they tackle. Absolutely. They tackle. That's what they do. They swarm that ball, they tackle, and now we got ball hawks, finally. Shout out to Mooney. Shout out to uh, right. Manny Mosley. Shout him out, you feel me? Shout out to Jay Fever. That's Shout out name, to Mooney. Sam Womack. You know what I mean? We got Big They man. got some boys back there on defense, and I think, honestly, that was the one question going into last season was, who was going to be that guy that steps up on, you know, on Sunday nights mm -hmm. to play corner against all those number one receivers we had in a uh, division. So uh, great, great pickups for San Francisco to go out there get some guys, fill up those bodies. And, um, yeah, I think they're going to be ready to go this year, man. I think uh, Mooney's going to get his – he's going to get his picks. Um, you think of Sherman a few years ago. Yeah. Uh, really thrived in that role. I think Mooney's going to only do the same thing, um, and that's just going to allow everybody else on the other side of the field to just feast. It's our focus this year. Our yeah. focus is picks. Yep. Because that's what we've been lacking. Mm -hmm. I think we led the league in fumbles <clears throat> last year. Not us fumbling, our defense. Like, you know, right, right. Mm -hmm. Force fumbles, my bad. But, um, yeah, interceptions, I think that's going to be a real new thing this year. And I just, of course, it bodes well for us. Yeah, you know, it's an open field. We're going to get picked sixes. Like, those things are going to happen. And right. Trey won't even have to do anything. <laughs> he right. might be, Trey might have the best setup of all time. I'm not mm -hmm. just talking about just the team. I'm saying we're starting field position. Right. I'm trying to get into stuff like that. I feel like our starting field position for the season is going to be much better. Mm -hmm. Like, those stats that people don't really think about. But I do think our field position is going to be better because of our defense, which is going to put Trey in a much better position. And he's going to be going against another tired defense because they were just on the field. Right. Chasing him around, chasing whoever around, Debo, all of our weapons. Right. So. Yeah. And I think all, uh, special teams got better too. You know? Oh, yes. Ray That's Ray McLeod, yes, you could throw did. back there if you need to. You got Debo, you could throw back there. Um, so they got some bodies, you know, Brandon Ayuk, you could throw some bodies back there um, in need B situations and uh, really get some good field pos uh, position. So right. I think that's only going to help Trey and his development and uh, as a team, you know, it's just yeah. why not have good field position? <laughs> Do you think there's many teams out there that have more defensive captains than offense? Hmm. Because something to think about. We huh? literally have all defense except for George Kittle. Now let's talk about him. <clears throat> George Kittle. Yeah. So he was, uh, sound like he was injured today. Uh, well, it didn't happen today, but it seemed like he has a groin injury that, Kind of maybe flared up today. Um, he was at practice. He wasn't feeling too well, according to Kyle Shanahan. Um, so let's talk about that. Um, 
George Kittle, you know, he's had some injuries throughout his career. Uh, hell of a talent, though, when he's healthy. Um, how do you think he's going to be moving forward, and how do you think the Niners are going to use him this season? I think he'll be featured more. As you've heard everybody say, Trey has all these weapons, right, and he's going to mm-hmm. need them to, to thrive and succeed, especially early on. Mm-hmm. So it behoove him, as smart as he is, that's all we hear, mm-hmm. to use all your weapons. I think Kyle Shanahan is going to scheme up plenty of stuff for Trey to hit Kittle on plenty of easy things. You saw it in a training camp. And they actually hooked up a lot. Yeah. Like almost every day I was hearing something about Trey to Kittle for some kind of touchdown. <laughs> of course not. Brandon Ayuk, he was real standout at training camp. Mm-hmm. But um, yeah, man, I, I think their chemistry is going to be A1. I think Kittle's going to have a better year than he's been having just because of the change of pace, the change of offense, mm-hmm. and the different style of quarterback. That 11 on 11, man, it just going it changes everything. Right. It changes everything. So right. I, that's how I feel about it. Right, yeah, you think about that 11-on-11 11 11, when Kyle has time to just scheme that one player into maybe some zones that they're running, right? Um, so I think he's going to utilize George Kittle a lot, um, put him in space. Uh, but I'm, I'm going to go ahead and say I, I, I might disagree on that. Okay. I don't think he's going to have a season maybe like he did last year, only because we have so many weapons. We, do. Uh, we have a great run game. Uh, Brandon Ayuk on, on the rise. Debo is going to need to get his his touches. Um, I think the odd man left out might be George Kittle this year. Um, and I'm going to go ahead and say that. So, okay. Okay. Um, I like the you know, no shade to George Kittle. I love him as a player. Um, but I just think because they value his blocking, mm-hmm. um, they're going to continue to highlight that. Um, as far as the pass game, I think he's going to get his touches, but I think he's going to have a little bit of a down year uh, from last year. Okay. I mean, I could see that just because we're, we, we're going to be trying to run 40 times a game. Right. So I can definitely see that. And especially early on. I'm not really used to getting off to super fast starts, coming out the gate super hot. You know, mm-hmm. you know, except 2019, of course, came out the best you could possibly come out. <laughs> right, right. You know. But um I think we'll I think we'll start off running most of the time. So I can mm-hmm. I can I can see why you would get that take. But I do think George is gonna be a little bit more open just because of the run. I think right. play action, he may get less catches, but he might end up with more yards. If Trey hits him in stride, that's right. the thing. If his accuracy is good enough to hit him in stride, because that's huge. That's huge right. for us. Absolutely. I saw, you know, I saw a couple of passes in the preseason game where Trey, he hit the target, but they had to like fall on the ground or they had mm. to reach high. They couldn't get any yak. Right. Well, you know, literally yak bros. So, right, right. Yeah, it's it's got to be hitting in stride. Mm-hmm. But, mm-hmm. you know, we all know reps. Reps. He's going to build that chemistry with his receivers, and then he'll understand that. Who was that today that said that? Was it uh, Peyton Manning? I think it was Peyton Manning today. They interviewed him when they asked him about Trey Lance and his accuracy. And he mentioned what I just said, which was he thinks that Trey Lance, every time that he's he will do good in the game, is going to mm-hmm. be because he has more reps in that relationship mm-hmm. with those receivers. So, like, I saw a picture with him and Debo. And Ayuk. We didn't see that all summer because of the whole contract stuff, right? Right, right. Now, all of a sudden, all three of them hanging out, Trey doing his little thing like he always do. <laughs> you know, he doing all that. He got his hand on Brandon Ayuk's shoulder. You know, it's just... Calls him his little milk dad. Calls him his little milk dad. Man, <laughs> that's wild. Funny, though. But, but yeah, no, that's that's something you don't... It's really... chemistry, man. I think yeah, chemistry is going to help yeah, with the accuracy absolutely. and all that stuff. I really do. Absolutely. Yeah, because you didn't really see that with Jimmy G. Not to say that, you know, they didn't like each other, but, you know, Jimmy was just a different style quarterback. A different, um, guy different guy. You know, we have a young core here in Santa Clara. So, porn star Jimmy, man. He got you, stuff to do. Absolutely. Um, but, yeah, you know, we got a young core. So I think, you know, players gravitate to Trey more. Trey, tra- uh, Trey gravitates to them. Um, He's young. You know, it's that. It's that young feel. Debo just, out there yeah. dancing all the time. Trent dancing just that all the time. Young, so. Yeah, just that young Trent, energy. Yeah. So, you know, I, th- I think that's just going to be dope for the locker room. It's going to be electric. Sprinkle in some vets. Let's, let's get the Super Bowl run, baby. That's all I'm ready, that's all I'm ready for. I don't even want to say quest <laughs> for six. I feel like I've been saying that for forever. Let's just right. win. Let's, let's just win. Let's right? just win. That's just it. Win. This is one win. game at we'll a time. Say Week one. Once, once it's over. We can say the quest for yeah. six is over. How about that? Because I'm tired of saying I'm not hashtagging it. I'm not doing it no more. Right, right. It's not working. It's not working. 
You gotta come up with a new slogan or something. Something. <laughs> yeah, can't keep letting me down every year. Yeah, can't man. take this. Yeah, but <laughs> good news. This is the last day before the start of the NFL season. Till February, you get a football game every Sunday. Yeah, I can't wait, man. How to put in tomorrow, Thursday. Amazon Prime taking over. Let's go. Amazon Prime. Eagles, over. Panthers. It's going to be a good NFC battle, right? We need to watch them Eagles because they one of the ones that. Well, you got one in that game. Let's talk about it. Eagles. Mm, talk to me. Why? This is really like a second year for Jalen Hurts, you know, like as far as him starting. Mm-hmm. It is a second year starting. So mm-hmm. there's that. There's AJ Brown, who's on my fantasy team. You feel hey. me? I need you to go crazy. I need you to go crazy. They picked up a lot of good, uh, a lot Some of good players, personnel, huh? dude. Yeah. Like they're not the same team as last year nah, at hey, all. Their receiving core got better. The defense got better. Jalen mm-hmm. Hurts is a little bit more comfortable. He's he's happy. That mm-hmm. means something too. I think their success is going to ride on them young wide receivers they got. You know, Devontae Smith, how are they going to turn out? Mm-hmm. Um, like you said, Jalen Hurts is young himself. Um, what's he going to be this year? Is he going to take that next step? Um, but they definitely, they, they're back. Um, I think the Eagles, that defense is going to be yes. fly, Eagles fly. <laughs> um, you know, the Panthers, I think they're an interesting team, though. Um, they have C-Mac coming back healthy this year. Uh, that defense, they're still going to be strong like Carolina is known to be. Are they gonna um, keep using him that much though? Christian McCaffrey. That's why he keeps getting injured. Probably. Keep using I mean, they paid him to do that. You got to, you know, you can't use him less. So I honestly I think, you know, I think the Panthers can win. Will they? No, but um <laughs> will they? No. <laughs> <laughs> honestly, they 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 have some nice pieces over there. I like some of those players over there, but it's uh I'm betting against them. It's it's Carolina. For the so I mean I'm going to go Eagles are going to win that game. What do you think that do. score is going to be? I don't know. You don't know? I don't know. Maybe like 24-10. Okay. I'm going to go 28-16. Okay. Four tubs out the gate. No field goals. 28-16? Okay. Yeah. 28-16. I 2016. got 24-10. Okay. We'll I don't know. I could be wrong. Shit, what do yeah, I know? I could but... too. We don't know. What? <laughs> we ain't playing. What? No, I'm, just... <laughs> sure, I'm just saying, man. And yeah. then, you know, uh, for home opener, that's going to be crazy. Yes. Yeah. And I think it's going to be a whole lot of jitters. Like, what? We can see starters play the whole game. Finally. Like, we ain't got a, no more second string defense, <clears throat> third string players. Like, right. none of that. All these hypotheticals, Ooh. all this <clears throat> anticipation. It's even with us, with right, the whole right. Debo situation, from the Trey situation, the Jimmy mm. situation, all these situations. Absolutely. going to be on full display. Let's go back. Now, to- starting today, basically, because I'm hyped. I'm ready. For I'm more. ready. I'm ready. This starts today for me. I'm ready to go. So let's, <laughs> let's, let's go back to George Kittle. Do you think he's playing this Sunday? <clears throat> do you think the injury is more than what they're leading on it for it to be, or do you think it's something he'll fight through? Okay, this is what I think. I think that Kittle, I think they kept him out. I think they kept him out today because mm. they want him to be ready for week one. Hmm. Okay. I think they're just taking it easy because the groin was on Monday. He practiced that day. And then it's today they kept him out. Of course, he'll need to. he can travel yeah. like it's George uh. Kittle. He doesn't really need to do this today. He just wants to really see the final game mm-hmm. plan and everything, make sure everything. He knows what he's got to do. He's oh, the yeah. one with the C on the chest that's in gold. You feel me? So he know what he's doing. Big dog on campus. Big dog on campus. So it's just smart to keep him out. If he was to mm-hmm. miss week one, we are still going to win. And the week after that is the Seahawks. Mm-hmm. Sorry, Gino. But uh, yeah, anyway, we'll get to the Seahawks <laughs> next time. But um, because <laughs> that's the game we're going to be at. We're going to go live for y'all for the first time at the game. Just so y'all know. We're going to be there. Yeah, we're gonna be there. But yeah, I think I think he plays this week. I think they keep him out of practice and all that, just getting him ready, shoot him up or whatever. Mm-hmm. Get him ready. I mean, if I can get stem cell shot in my knee today and then be on here tonight, Kittle could play. He could play. <laughs> Absolutely. He I think play. he's gonna play Sunday. I mean, he's a warrior. He's he's been in with worse. So I'm not worried about Kittle's injury. I think he's gonna play. Um, as far as what he's gonna produce, I'm not hundred percent sure. Um just going to depend how the flow of the offense is going. But uh, pencil them in. Fantasy owners, pencil them in. I like it. It's George Kittle, why not? I like it. And if not, then, you know, George Kittle, you don't care about your fantasy team. So, 
<laughs> that's hilarious now well that's all i got man you got anything else that's all you got no yeah. i'm good we just wanted to talk to you guys for a bit yeah um just talk about these cruiser. captains mm-hmm. you know see if it was any any smoke there uh with trey lance not getting the nod um honestly i think just him being young um they shouldn't give it to him right now i think that should be something he should yeah. work towards yeah. um and earn absolutely um so we'll go ahead and you know we'll get that next year see what that looks like for him and you know right well at least the captain wasn't Jimmy. <laughs> Jimmy Garoppolo. <laughs> right. Because Jimmy Ward is one. So we good. Jimmy Ward is here, fellas. All right, All right YouTube. Thanks for coming to the room service. We'll holler at y'all on the next one.